Ang dami kong, ang dami kong na-harvest na patatas mga kawain. Anong gagawin ko rito? Mag-french fries tayo? No, we can do more than that. Ano ang ating gagawin dito? Gawa kaya tayo ng pasta. Pasta na patata? Let's find out! You're watching Channel Juan and this is the World Cuisine Series presented in Tagus. Let's join Romilo in his small kitchen. Warm welcome mga kababayan mabuhay! <laughs> this is the uh, World Cuisine Series of Channel One. In this series, we'll be cooking, presenting international cuisine na pwede natin gawin sa ating kusina sa Pilipinas or wherever we are. And as Pinoy's, we will surely love this. At gagawin natin ito in Taglish. Ngayon, ano ang ating gagawin? We will be making a variation of pasta. Ang tawag dito ay gnocchi. Plural yun. Kung singular, gnocco. Ulitin ko ha, gnocchi. Sa mga Ilocano dyan, careful with the pronunciation. Gnocchi. Merong gnio ha? At the beginning of the word. Gnocchi. In some parts, or this is a, a variation of pasta as, I, as I've earlier said, and in some parts of Italy, for instance, in Lombardia and in Tuscany, ang tawag dito ay malfatti. Ang ibig sabihin nun ay pangit o masagwa ang pagkagawa. Totoo, yun ang ibig sabihin ng malfatti. Yun ang pangalan ng, ng recipe na ito. Pero gagawin natin maganda. Now, ang ating mga kailangan ay patatas at arena. Ang proportion ay 1 6 to 1 5 lang sa bigat ng patatas ang gagamitin arena. Kailangan natin ng itlog. Isa lang. Yung lang yolk ang gagamitin natin. Meron na pala rito. <laughs> At of course, dahil gagawa tayo ng pasta, kailangan natin na ng keso. Parmesan cheese. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay gnocchi al pesto. Hindi na ako gagawa ng pesto. Bumili na lang ako. Ito ang nabili ko rito sa Holland. Mayroon ding nabibili sa Philippines, sa SM, sa Robinsons, kahit sa CSI, sa amin sa Pangasinan, mayroon bumili na kayo ng ready-made na pesto kung gusto niyo ng pesto. Or you can also make your favorite uh, spaghetti sauce. Pinoy na may asukal at gatas, pwede! Basta ang ating gagawin lang ay yung pasta. Ang tawag uli ay gnocchi. Magkumbisa tayo. Ang una natin gagawin, ipakululan muna natin ito. Dahil fresco ito mula sa harbin, kailangan natin hugasan mabuti. Ayaw natin ng pasta na brown, di ba? Ayan, sindihan na. Luto na ito, kaya pwede na nating uh, balatan. We have no time to cool this down, so we're using cool water. And then, we'll the potatoes one by one. It takes time, so we have to buy time. Ngayon, pwede na nating uh, i-mash yung ating potato mash or wala akong masher kasi hindi ako lagi nagsuluto ng pot patatas. Kaya gamitin ko na lang itong uh, grater. Pwede rin, oh. Alam nyo, mainit pa siya. <laughs> Ayan, mayroon na tayong patatas na grated or mash. We'll be mixing this now, or incorporating this into a dough, or we will incorporate the dough dito sa patatas. Kaya, maglalaro tayo ng arena ngayon. This will be fun. Ulitin ko, ang proportion ay mga one-fifth ng dami nito ang kailangan natin ng nating arena. And of course, before starting, we have to dust our work surface first. Saka natin ilalagay itong uh, patatas. Kunti -kunti lang. Let's do this gradually. It's easier to incorporate the flour into the uh, mashed potato if we do the addition gradually. Oh, oh, mas madali kaysa minsan. Kung alam niyo gumawa ng bilo-bilo, you can do this. Nagtago ang itlog kasi magulo ang kusina. Kanina ko pa sana to sinama. Pero ito, huli man daw at magaling, may ihahabol din. At egg yolk lang ang kailangan ha kasi masyadong basa ito pag gagamitin niyo lahat. Mahihirapan kayo. Magdagdag ng arena kung kinakailangan. Lalo na ito o madikit na. 
at wala namang strictong proportion. Yung iba nga, ari na lang ginagawa na pasta eh. Ayan, masahin. Ito ang masaya. Pag masa, nagmagmasa. I really love this. We don't have to uh, knead it well. We're not making bread here. We're making pasta. So this would be good. One more. I love kneading. Ang saya. <laughs> Ang sarap maglaro ng ganito. <laughs> we can cut this now and make sh uh, shorter uh, trozos or shorter uh, bars of pasta. The size of a bottle cork or wine cork. Yun ang ating gustong uh, diameter. Pwede na ito. The size of your fingers. We'll just have to roll the rest of the portions. I think I'm ready to slice them or to cut them into pieces or to short bits the size of a uh, wine cork. Ganyan kalaki. Ito, uh, pansin ninyo. I didn't, I didn't use the entire uh, bunch of potatoes. I'll keep this for our next recipe. We'll be making uh, croquette soon. Croquetta. So, join us again for the croquette. So, we'll cut them. Let's do this. Okay. If you know how to make below below, you can also make this. This is not the first time we're making pasta. We've done Miki a la vegan before. So just browse through the playlist if you want to see that. Ito, kinuha ko to sa aking uh, coffee machine. Gagamitin natin para bigyan ng konting forma. Parang yung uh, fusili, merong uh, kanyang, sinatawag namin sa ilo kanong nagirit-girit. <laughs> yeah. Para yung forma kasi na ganyan yung mga kanal-kanal na maliit will help in better absorption ng sauce. At mas maganda siyang tingnan. Ayan. Siguro kahit suklay pwede gamitin dito pero huwag it's unhygienic. Ito na lang yung namit ko. Di ba cute? While doing this, enjoy what has, we might as well boil water. Nakatipid sa oras, di ba? Gutom na. It's lunch. We'll cook our gnocchi now. And as always, sweets, it's good to use olive oil just to keep the uh, gnocchi or the pasta from sticking with one another. And some salt. Water is boiling now, so we can put our gnocchi to the boiling water. It's like cooking palitao. Once deployed, they're cooked. Look, I think they're cooked now. Each piece is now floating. They're cooked. We can prepare our gnocchi. I won't be cooling my pasta. I want to be draining it even completely. We need some moisture. Let's add a sauce now. It's pesto from the bottle. You can make this yourself, but I don't have fresh uh, basil during the season. It's winter, so no choice for me in this part of the world but to buy a pre-prepared uh, pesto. This is pesto a la Genovese. Pesto, the way it's made in Genoa. Basil, garlic and nuts. And of course, mash in olive oil. Let's add some uh, salt to this. And pepper. I don't have freshly ground pepper. I ran out of pepper, so we'll use this free, uh, free ground pepper. Gamitin natin. English na ako. Tagless wala itong ating show. So yeah, bumili ako ng ready-made na pesto dahil winter ngayon dito. At alam ko sa Pilipinas wala rin kayo mabiling magawang pesto dahil hindi uso ang pag... pag uh, 
pagtanim ng ng uh, basil doon, kaya bumili na lang kayo. Mura lang naman. Yeah, mas mura pa nga kaysa sa spaghetti sauce na ginagawa. At we'll be adding now parmesan cheese. Kung wala kayong parmesan cheese, kahit anong keso, pwede na rin. At haluin natin. We'll mix it thoroughly to have the pesto or the gnocchi absorb all the flavor. Pwede natin dagdagan pa ng oil. You know what? We can also use uh, the pasta water. Pwede natin dagdagan ng konting tubig from the pasta. Just to uh, add some sauce. Hindi yun masama. Ginagawa yan ng mga Italian. Pati mga chef. O, oh, di ba ang ganda? Yeah. Well, uh, do uh, ilagay na natin sa plato at tikman natin. Ingitin natin si cameraman. I'm also inviting you to watch our Pinoy cooking series. English yun dahil nga share natin sa buong mundo. English ang presentasyon. Duda ako dito sa kesong to ha. Bakit malambot? At ito ang ating gnocchi al pesto genovese. Kaya natin gawin ito sa Pilipinas as a good alternative kung marami kang batatas at makakamura kaysa na buong pasta. Make it yourself. Mayroon ka ng masarap na pagkain. May kwento ka pa. Bida ka, di ba? Ulitin ko, gnocchi with pesto ala genovese. Tikman natin. Masarap. <laughs> Hindi ko in-explain na ganito ka sarap. Kung kaya ni Romulo, kaya nyo rin. Mm. <laughs> mm. Salamat sa pagsama kay Kuya today. Thank you for joining me and I hope to have you again next time as we bring you more recipes from other countries at lalong lalo na recipes from our Dear country, mabuhay! Hanggang sa muli, uh, don't forget our other uh, cooking series. Yung ating Pinoy cooking series. This is the world cooking series, by the way. Kaya tayo ay nag-tanglish. Hanggang sa muli, Diyos na pati. This is my lunch, by the way. Cameraman, it's time to turn it off, and this is yours. And also, thank you, cameraman. Thank you, cameraman. Please. That is your swell for today. Thank you for being a good cameraman, and yeah, yeah. From the heart. <laughs> on behalf of my friends on YouTube, thank you, really. They want to thank you. And on behalf of the entire Philippines, even, thank you to Belgium. Promise I'll be posting more Netherlands <laughs> film as a gesture of appreciation. Thank you.